Today I'm talking about neutral color. I'm talking about why it's great to use them in your collages. And I'm also going to be doing a little project with a blank envelope. We're going to decorate it with some neutral papers and then use it in our junk journals for Junk Journal January. So what does it mean precisely for a color to be neutral? Well, neutral colors are not on a color wheel. They are defined as hues that seem to be without color. And I've got some examples of neutrals right here. The reason why I love to use neutrals is that it allows for whatever pieces of paper that you put on top of neutrals to really stand out. So here's an example. Here I have this muse piece. What I mean is something like a hero piece or what you want the focus of a collage to be. So if I have this on a piece of neutral paper, my hero piece stands out all that much more. And the interesting thing is, is that you can do this with even something as unexpected as white, for example. Let me take some paint. Now, of course, you can use any kind of acrylic paint for something like this. I am using ordinary gesso. Now, let's see how this looks. So that's pretty dramatic, just with white gesso. So I think I'm going to cut this out and use it in my collage. All right, so let's say I have a junk journal and I want to put in an envelope, use an envelope in my junk journal that's kind of kind of match with the elements that I have. Here you can see that I use a lot of neutral vintage papers and I have an example of some of these here. Something that has kind of a beige or plain background and then usually markings of some sort with black ink. So I'm going to be sticking my envelope in here. All right, so let me move this to the side. So I want to create an envelope decorated with neutral papers and have this as my muse, as my hero piece that's going to be the focus, okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to lay down some pieces. Maybe I'll bring this down like this. And then I have my neutral flower. Something like this. I'm not quite sure about all the placement just yet. I have to cut out the pieces and put them down, but it's going to look something like this. Now, if you want to do the back, it's up to you, of course. I might want to wrap things over since I have so much of this pretty text on here, this beautiful handwriting, why not use it? For the top part, I want a, a little tiny bit of the white to show something like this, but I can see that it's uneven, so let me straighten that out. For these straight cuts, I like to use a cutting mat and a rotary cutter tool. I just have this Ulfa rotary cutter. So let me just cut it straight across and I will measure the base and make sure that I've got a straight line. I'll set this up and then make sure that I have a straight um, 45 degree, or is it 90, 90 degree angle. <laughs> I think I want this side to be a little bit uneven, so I'm just gonna press it down and see if the paper kind of falls off on its own without me having to cut it. It's pretty fragile paper, so it should just separate pretty easily. Yeah, there we go, okay. So 
Now I'm just gonna glue this into place with a little bit of glue stick. I'm gonna keep it kind of light. I don't want it to be too wet because it might warp even just a little bit and I don't want that. This I don't want. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of this. I'm gonna leave this up just for the time being. If I put something on the back, then I wanna be able to fold this over onto it. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. But now let me grab my stenciled piece like this. Look how pretty that looks. That is so, so nice. And this I can put above or below. I kind of like the below like that. I thought that I was just going to use part of it, but I don't know. Maybe I can wrap it onto the back side. So in that case, I will continue cutting the rest of this out. For this one, because it's kind of thick, I'm going to use double-sided tape. And for the back side, let's see if I can finish this off. Cut this part down. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be good enough. And let's see if I can just use something simple. I think I like this one. Now I can put my flower on. Okay, now the last thing I want to do is I want to assess if there's anything else that I want to add. I've got all these neutral colors. Is there anything solid color, bright color that I want to use? Perhaps I could put something here or I could put something over here. So yeah, let's see what I can find. All right, so let me show you all the things that I found. So I found this big stamp, which was interesting. The reason why I think I'm not gonna go with it is because it's just a different style altogether than this. Even though the colors really are nice and it's a nice size, the style is just uh, conflicting. This is also neat, but then I thought I would have to add an additional piece on top of this, so I'm also not gonna go with this. This is a neutral colored stamp, and I love the way this looks down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Looks like she sailed on that ship. <laughs> well, actually not, 1683. It's a little too early. All right, but the other things that I did find, I found this beautiful 
colored piece that just kind of stands out because again of all those neutrals in the background when I have these this pop of color it just really stands out nicely the thing is is that it's a little bit small and it kind of is a little bit it doesn't have it's not using up enough of this space over here it would be really nice to put it something like that but I don't want it to be floating all by itself so I also found this one and this one I can go like this it's got a nice long piece. It's got some pretty pops of color and it works nicely with the collage. So I am going to go with that. So here it is, my neutral themed envelope. And then I can go ahead and put it in my junk journal. Oh, just by chance I see that these colors kind of match. So that's really perfect. I love that. Looks great. So go grab yourself some neutral papers and create some layered collage playing with neutral a hero piece, and a little bit of color. And if you want some more practice with collage and layering, then see this video that's coming up next.